on to a super exclusive. Uh, Republic TV has accessed the clincher in the INX media case. In fact, our senior news editor Shavan Sen has those documents that the CBI mentioned in the court. These are the papers that show the $5 million trail. I'm going to hand over to Niranjan, who's also going to take the similar questions forward to Shavan. Niranjan, over to you. Well, we have two key documents, and I think that is a clincher. And this is the first exclusive document that no other channel has ever put out. This is Karthi Chidambaram CA. A mail from Karthi Chidambaram CA that has been accessed for the first time, for the first ever time. Karthi Chidambaram CA writing a mail, sharing details of an offshore account, and Shavan has accessed these details. Shavan has the full details, and, and I want him to explain this mail. This mail is the clincher. This mail has details of the offshore bank account. This mail has details of his CA asking or rather sharing the offshore bank account. Remember, Chidambaram yesterday was asked a question by the CBI whether his son had a foreign bank account. This is that mail. And Shavan is joining us with the details. Shavan, take us to the mail and then we'll show the table. Take us to the mail, Shavan. Well, Niranjan, let's just make an attempt right now to piece together what exactly is this scam all about. Remember, beyond the INX media scam, what the agencies are probing right now is six such companies which benefited from this entire scam, where illegal FIPB approvals were given to six such companies, including INX Media. What was exactly happening was, once the FIPB approvals were granted, Kickbacks were received by a company that is linked to Karthi Chidambaram. In fact, now there are certain invoices that have been raised. There is basically what, what was happening was you have a company called Advantage Strategic Consulting Private Limited, a company that is linked to Karthi Chidambaram. Karthi Chidambaram was basically receiving this money from various uh, private companies. These were nothing but kickbacks. These kickbacks were then routed through multiple shell companies. Now, one such clincher and very important important one is a mail that was basically sent by S. Bhaskar Raman. S. Bhaskar Raman, CA of Karthi Chidambaram, arrested by the enforcement directed, writes a mail. Now, this mail is with regards to Gibbon Trading Limited, based out of Greece. And this also has details of the bank account, UBS bank account, which is basically details of the bank account that has been put in this particular mail. What we are given to understand is that the hard disk of Karthi Chidambaram was first seized by the income tax department when raids were being carried out. A job that was done by the income tax department, which has actually helped the other agencies also, the enforcement directed, as well as the Central Bureau of Investigation in terms of the money trail. Important to point out is that this particular document, this is one of the mail that we are putting out right now, which will give you an idea as to how this entire scam operated. You had a multiple companies, shell companies that were floated by Karthi Chidambaram. And of course, you also have the Panama paper link. I'll come to the second document that will actually help our viewers to understand as to how this money was coming in. This document will now tell you how consultancy charges were basically received. This document tells you these are the consultancy charges that were received in the year between 2008 and 2009, 2007 and 2008, 2006 and 2005. And look at these companies. These are the, these are the various companies that is already under the scan. You have INX Media Company. Then you have the DIGO Scotland Limited. Then you have the Aircel Televentures Limited. All of these companies are now under the scanner of the enforcement directed also. They are sending consultancy charges. This document is the consultancy charges that were basically being received. So what Karthi Chidambaram's argument has been all this while, that these were consultancy charges that he was receiving. This was not kickbacks. These were not bribes that he was receiving. Now that's the argument that has been put forth by Karthi Chidambaram. But the fact of the matter is that multiple emails that Republic TV has now accessed. This is the second consecutive day, viewers, when we are bringing to you certain documents which play a very important, crucial role as far as this investigation is concerned. Day before yesterday, we got to emails that basically shows how Benami properties of Karthi Chidambaram were being looked after by his property dealer in United Kingdom. Today, we have got you the details of a trading company which was sending money or rather kickbacks to 
a company that has been linked to Karthi Chidambaram. So clearly, Niranjan, it is abundantly clear that the invoices that have been raised and the exchanges that took place between INX Media and Karthi Chidambaram, I'll also take our viewers through one more document that will give you a sense of what was actually happening. Now, this is an invoice, and I'll ask my camera person to come a little closer. This is an invoice by, raised by Northstar. Northstar, INX Media House Private Limited, and this is the money that was basically received, saying that one year maintenance from the date of implementation. This, again, talks a mail that was sent to Peter Mukherjee, Indradi Mukherjee, chess bills. Now, chess bills, Niranjan, is again, a chess management private limited is yet another company that is linked to Karthi Chidambaram. And in this, they are basically saying the gentleman from chess today again said that Chennai has requested for their original bills to be returned to them. I have requested Sanjay only to give them to give them to me and will hand over to Chess next week. So viewers, Chess is yet another company of Karthi Chidambaram who is receiving money and here we have the bill that was basically generated, the invoice that was basically generated. Now many would say if bills were being generated, if invoice was being generated, then where is the question of any bribe, kickback. Now, the fact here is that this is the smart play, perhaps, uh, being employed by Karthi Chidambaram and his company members. The, what they've been saying is that these are consultancy charges because we were providing certain services. What has turned out is that essentially the money that was being flown all the way was nothing, but they were being routed through these shell companies. If they were not bribe money, if they were not kickbacks, then why would you have these shell companies in the first place? Secondly, when you have these Benami properties, somewhere down the line, the investigation that has been carried out so far reveals that it was all the money that was being received by these private players going to shell companies and finally coming, being utilized to buy properties. You're looking at properties, agricultural lands, agricultural lands in Tamil Nadu. Then you have a tennis academy in Spain, in Barcelona, which was then uh, seized by the enforcement directorate. So, roughly about 10 to 15 such immovable properties that were basically uh, directly linked to Karthi Chidambaram. And now comes P. Chidambaram's link in it. You have a family trust that has come into the picture where P. Chidambaram is a director, where Karthi Chidambaram is a member, and all of that essentially moving towards one direction, where money was being infused into such trusts, money was being re uh, received by such trusts, apart from those shell companies. Okay, Shavan, thank you for joining us with those inputs. Shavan, accessing the mail from Karthi CA to one of uh, the consultants, uh, so one of the companies that was consulting with Karthi's firm, Total in all, according to these documents, at least 12 million, we counted 12 million dollars in four years. Roughly about 90 crore rupees. 90 crore rupees in payoffs is what the agencies believe and these are the documents accessed by Republic TV. Shavan, thank you for joining us with those inputs. We'll have to take a short break now and uh, we'll come back with more details of uh, this big breaking story, Kritsween. Right, certainly, Shavan there bringing us those exclusive details, talking about how the CBI really does have those kind of evidences. And when it does mention in the top court that it has uh, evidences against the Chidambrams as far as illegal, illegal uh, FIBP clearances are concerned, kickbacks are concerned, there is some amount of truth to that as well. Uh, that's our top focus. But